Okay, imagine yourself speeding on the highway, all fast and furious, and there's construction in progress ahead. What happens? You start to slow down your car, and suddenly the traffic is bumper to bumper. And some of you will use the emergency lane to keep moving, right? Well, same thing with the water flowing in a river filled with vegetation. Vegetation becomes resistance to the river flow. It reduces the flow velocity, causing the water level to go higher up to the floodplains and causes flooding. This doesn't mean vegetation is all bad. If you treat Mother Nature well, vegetation can be used to protect the riverbanks and provide extra flood water storage. But how do you decide how much vegetation is enough to preserve the environment and at the same time not increase the flood risk? One way to do this is to represent the vegetation resistance in the form of roughness factors in a 2D model to see how the flow behaves due to vegetation. A dominant vegetation property that can represent this resistance is density. You can find many studies on measuring vegetation density, but they are time and cost consuming. Can you imagine measuring all vegetation out there one by one? No. This is where my research comes into the picture. My research aims to propose a quantitative approach in measuring vegetation density for flood management. How am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to use remote sensing data and scientific image processing to extract the vegetation density. From there, I will develop a new formula to convert them into the roughness factors. These roughness factors can then be input in the 2D model to forecast the flood extent. Now, why is it so important? Well, this new practical framework will help land use planners and engineers in maximizing flood management, focusing on vegetation maintenance in strategic areas where they can reduce the flood damage. So, unless we can move to the planet Mars, Let's work together with Mother Nature to turn this love-hate relationship around. Thank you.